welcome back to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for being here today. So today I've come up with my own recipe. So I had a little bit of chicken at home, and I had a little bit of uh, you know pizza pasta sauce, and I had some uh, herbs, Italian herbs, and some chili flakes. So I thought I can just make something delicious, and the end result was really, really delicious. So I just gave it a name: chicken and pizza pasta sauce. So let's get started with this recipe. It's really delicious, and I say it's a must try. So let's just jump in into today's recipe video. So friends, let's see today's lovely recipe of chicken and pizza pasta sauce. Now here I've taken my pan, put on the heat on low to medium and now I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Now you don't need to heat up olive oil. So immediately I'm going to be adding 200 grams of boneless chicken breast which I've cut into very small, you know, fine pieces. So about half an inch, uh, you know, uh, I've cut them up into small half inch pieces. They taste better when they're, you know, in very, very small pieces like this. And now we're going to fry the chicken really well for about at least two to three minutes till it changes its color like this and becomes a more whitish color and it's cooked. Now, once the chicken is cooked, I'm going to just transfer the chicken to a bowl. So cut them up, you know, into very, very small pieces. And now again, I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil to my pan. And I'm going to add four tablespoons of very finely chopped garlic. So I used about 10 to 12 cloves of garlic. And now we're going to really fry the garlic nicely and really well in this olive oil. So take your time with the garlic, keep it on a low to medium flame and fry this for at least half a minute till you get the beautiful aroma of the garlic. So once our garlic is nicely done, I'm going to add one medium sized onion which again I've very fine, chopped very finely. Now fry the onion well too for another half a minute. Till the on onion turns a little bit translucent. This will really flavor the dish and really make it very delicious. So now we're going to add a few more ingredients. So I'm going to start by adding one teaspoon of pepper powder, two teaspoons of paprika or you can also use Kashmiri red chili powder. 1 teaspoon of chili flakes. Mix all of this well. Next I'm going to be adding 1 teaspoon of mixed herbs that is Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning you can also use just you know plain oregano. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of pizza pasta sauce. So you can use the ready-made brand or if you have a homemade pizza pasta sauce you can add that too. Mix all of this really well together. And now I'm going to add half a cup of water because we need to cook the chicken a little bit. And now mix everything really nicely together. Now we got to flavor this with a little bit of salt because the pizza pasta sauce already has some salt. We're just going to use salt to taste. But don't add too much salt because the sauce generally has a salt content. And now we're going to mix all of this well together. Now we're going to add our cooked chicken. That is a fried chicken. Mix this in well. And now we're going to cover and cook this for about 5 to 7 minutes on a low to medium flame, stirring in between. Basically, we want this to be, you know thicken up and become a nice thick kind of a consistency. So just cover it up and cook it for about 5 to 7 minutes, stirring in between. And now you can see how the whole sauce has thickened up. 
and it's the aroma in my kitchen is just fabulous and I can't wait to dig in and now all I'm going to do is just add some coriander leaves which I've chopped up which is cilantro and that's it guys a dish is all ready to enjoy really a delicious recipe didn't it look really delicious so you can have this uh, I had to make it into rolls so I just take a chapati or you know a tortilla as you call it put this filling inside and roll it up and it tastes amazing and it also goes really well with some soft pao uh, or buns what you can also do is make it into a hot dog so you just take a hot dog cut it up and you know apply a little bit of butter or a little bit of cheese spread and add this to it and it is amazing so try this recipe, like you see it's got very uh, simple ingredients, very few ingredients, stuff that we generally have at home. So give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section how it turned out and how you like it. And I have a similar kind of recipe in which I've used salami, so I just had salami at home and I didn't know what to prepare. So I did something like this only with the salami and even that turned out really amazing. So you can make this with salami, you can make this with sausages or with chicken like I did. What I did is I took the chicken and I cut it up into really thin small pieces and then made the recipe. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button uh, that you see below the video, a thumbs up icon. I need those thumbs ups. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And once you have subscribed, do click the notification bell and click on all. That way, whenever I put up a video, you get a message that Akshita's recipes has put up this recipe. So you won't miss out anything happening happening on my channel. So guys, take care of yourselves. And thank you so much again. And I'll catch you soon. Bye.